<laughs> Dear Avery, I am so excited about our ghost hunting mission. Last night I had a dream that we were running around a house that looked like Luigi's mansion, catching cute little ghosts and nets. I don't know why we were able to catch them in nets or what we were going to do with them, but you had the biggest smile on your face and it made me really happy. Ah, thanks Evie. <laughs> it's so weird that we haven't met in real life. I feel like I've known you for a really long time already. It's nice to know I can make a new friend even when I'm trapped inside. I'm starting to feel like I've been hit by a comically large madlet of ennui. Hmm. And a bit lonely. Hmm. Lily's great, obviously, but it's hard to just be around one person all the time. I like being in crowds. I like writing the L. I miss elbowing guys in the ribs when they get too close for me. <laughs> I think I might buy a video game where I can fight people. <laughs> Look at this. She drew this tiny little stick figure raising its wee little fists in the air. I love it. That's great. And then uh, she goes on to say, I just heard a noise from the living room. And when I went in, one of Lily's sweaters was half unraveled on the floor. The game is afoot. I've got to go investigate, so that's bye for now. Love, Evangeline. And look, she drew another pair of stick figures. They're holding hands. I think they're supposed to be us. That's super cute. I just had to go ahead and start this episode with a letter since that's the way that Benji started his first one. Evangeline, I just want you to know how much I love your letter and how much it touched me. I really appreciated getting it. And since I have a rare and much needed day off today, I just wanted to go ahead and respond to you in video style. It's not as sweet as an old fashioned handwritten letter, but with how crazy work has been, I think that this is gonna be the best that I can do for right now. <laughs> so, <clears throat> dear Evangeline, I'm also excited about this mission, especially considering your new finding. Please text me a picture of the sweater so that we can discuss our next steps. All the best, Avery. <laughs> okay, just kidding. I'm not great at letters, but um, I think I can do a little bit better than that. Let me try again. <clears throat> Dear Evie, it's so funny that you had a dream about me because I had a dream about you too. Okay, that's not really true. That's kind of a lie. But um, if I did have a dream about you, we would totally be in Donkey Kong 64, like finding bananas and stuff. Was that what the game was about? I don't know. It was something like that. I was like eight the last time I played it, so I don't really remember. Um, anyway, you would have had a really big, cute smile too, and it would have made me really happy. Um, I'm also dealing with some serious emotional fatigue right now too, even though I'm out of the house most of the day for work. It's just that I see more people than I know what to do with, but it still really sucks because I'm apart from the people that I actually care about. That's why it was so nice to get your letter. I especially like the stick figures. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to go ahead and hang it on my fridge. Yeah. Look. When this is all over, I want to come out to Chicago and ride the L with you, and we can elbow just as many men as you want. Pinky swear. Well, I really hope that Lily is able to fix that sweater, or that the ghost has one of its kindness episodes and fixes it for her. Let me know how your stakeout goes. I can't wait to see what you uncover. Love, Avery.